Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Sagittarius for the month of September. So we're just going to see what comes up. What do we have for Sagittarius? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for the month of September. What do we have for Sagittarius? One card, please. Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Your, the, the, the main message is to stay optimistic this month. You're going to need to stay optimistic. Okay? You need to think positive. Okay? Don't let angry thoughts or negative thoughts or self-doubt get in the way. Okay? You really, really, this is going to be a month where you need to remember to think positive. And I know that you have that in there. Typically, you're a very optimistic sign. So, you know, maybe this month you get faced with some challenges that make you upset or something. And this is just a reminder to, you know, think positive and stay optimistic. So what do we have for Sagittarius? It's really hard to shuffle these cards, but I don't I don't want to pick from a bag. I'd rather have them fly out and stuff like that. Um if that's the case. What do we have for Sagittarius? What do we have for Sagittarius? One more. There we go. We got two, I believe. That's what I like. I like to see them come out on their own. We need another stand. Might not be able to see them all. Let me just get this set right up for you. All right. We have five. Yeah, we do have five. We'll lay one of them down. <clears throat> Flowers. Happiness. Torch. Spiritual development, enlightenment, awareness, and understanding. Tiger, doing something risky, taking a chance. I, psychic ability, trust your intuition. Not, unsuccessful plans. So, I feel as though there's something that is going to be unsuccessful, obviously. Um, you are a risky creature. You like to take risks. And perhaps you do something risky and this is what I feel like this is. I feel like you do something risky and it caught it, you know, a knot is a knot. You know, it's a mess. Could cause mess. Um... You are going through a period of spiritual development, okay, a new understanding about life. Your psychic ability is probably increasing and you are being called to really, really trust it, okay? And there is happiness here, so uh, sometimes when things don't work out, there's a reason, okay? There is a reason. Maybe it's not part of your path. So, anyhow, there is there is an element of happiness, and I think you need to trust your gut. You're going through some sort of spiritual development, and I think that you're going to do something risky that, you know, causes you a problem. It brings problems. So I think that that's something that you need to be aware of. So be careful with taking risks is what I'm trying to say. What do we have for Sagittarius? Maybe it's just like, don't worry, be happy. That's what I just heard. Don't worry, be happy. Just be happy. I don't know. Oh, the tower reversed. First card out. Queen of Swords. And the Ace of Pentacles. So the Ace of Pentacles is a golden opportunity coming to you. This is some an opportunity for stability and security. This is a gift. Something you can touch. You are going to be receiving a gift or an opportunity that could lead to stability. Okay, this is a gift. Um, 
this 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 person is an is in a position of authority this is needing to look at things from a new perspective somebody is going to be making a decision based on some facts based on some truth whatever this decision is it does give you a new opportunity this is a solid opportunity it's gonna you notice what that is it's right next to the happiness card whatever this opportunity is that you are getting is going to pay off it's something you can take to the bank it's something long term it's something that is going to make you very, very happy. But this tower reversed is, oh, this is uh, avoiding disaster. And maybe that's what this is. Perhaps there is somebody that is in a position of authority that is going to be helping you avoid, you know, a disaster of some sort. This could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. This could be somebody, this could be a doctor, it could be a counselor, it could be a lawyer. Um, whoever this person is, they are very forthright, they are very honest, authentic, truthful, professional. This is a professional. Whatever they do, it's in a professional manner. This person is making a decision and this decision is going to benefit you. It is going to benefit you. Um, and it's going to help you to avoid some sort of disaster. I don't say that very often So with the Tower card. But I feel like you are, it's going to help you. Whatever this is that you're getting is going to help you. Oh, it may have something to do with addictions. Now this is, and this is, you know, this could be anger and this could be anger. So I just need to remind you to control yourself. You may get angry, you know. Somebody may be making a decision that, you know, doesn't make you happy, but it leads to happiness. Now, the devil is tied to a situation. This is self-indulgence. It's not healthy. It's a false sense of security. There's extremely poor health here. They may, you may have an addiction or something that you are codependent on. This is a codependency of any kind. Okay, that is that you are tied to that you need to break free from. It's like you need to rebuild, you need a clean slate, you know. But in order for you to have that client clean slate, the ties need to be severed from whatever this situation is. So, um, this is the sword that severs the ties. Somebody's going to be making a decision, it's a, it's a calculated decision. And it has to do with a codependent situation that isn't healthy. It's toxic. Could be dealing with a Capricorn, could be dealing with a Scorpio, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Seven of Swords reversed. This is finding a new approach. Now, I don't know if there's an accident or something, because this is not looking where you're going. This could be an accident, you know, so, and if you are on drugs or alcohol, you know, things could get out of hand. Somebody could get in an accident. I'm just, I'm just being honest with you. Okay. This is somebody who thinks they can get away with it. They can't get away with it. This is a crash. It really is. This is ignoring an advice, ignoring advice. I, I don't have to. I'm not going to. This is somebody that is very uh, smug. This is very high risk. We have a high risk here. missing an opportunity an opportunity has been missed or ignored somebody has been ignoring an opportunity because they've been self-medicating or they've been in denial or something like that
This is self-sabotage. This is self-deception. Interesting. This is ignoring an opportunity. So there's an opportunity that has been ignored. And I said ignored advice as well. So we do have an opportunity that has been missed. <laughs> What's going to happen in the future with this Ace of Pentacles? You're about to get something. You're going to get something solid. Okay, and, it's, and it is stable. This just fell out. Knight of Cups reversed. Now the Knight of Cups reversed is... Lack of emotion, lack of emotional uh, ability, can't master emotions. The night of, of uh, not really interested in romance or a relationship or something. This is unrequited love. This is lying. It's crafty. It's cunning. Heartbroken, upset. There could be some drug or sex or alcohol abuse here with these two cards. And getting caught, something, somebody's going to get caught. They're going to get caught in some sort of predicament. Now, the, the Knight of Cups reversed is a heartbreaker. This is somebody that is a womanizer, that is, that is uh, indecisive, maybe a cheater. Because we have this and this, which is a cheater. You may, there's, we may have a cheater here. Somebody's trying to, maybe they're trying to treat, cheat, cheat the system because this is like the system as well. Anyhow, um, you may end up feeling distraught this month because that Queen of Swords is a person in, in a position of authority. This is a decision maker. Somebody is making a decision on your behalf. Could be a boss, could be a mother, could be a professional of some sort. Could be a judge even. I think it's going to be, I mean, the Knight of Cups reverse could be an emotional outburst, tears. Defensiveness. You may need some sort of defense and you may be on the defensive. The Seven of Wands, this is a challenge. You're going to be challenged this month. You may be caught off guard. The Seven of Wands is somebody as well that it refuses to budge. This is somebody that will not step down. That is highly competitive. <clears throat> so we have an individual. There's a lot of competition here. Somebody is competing. They're competing for, I don't know, attention? I feel this month, Sagittarius, that you are going to be dealing with some sort of codependent situation that you have tried to ignore. This is a codependent situation that you have tried to ignore. It's like, ah, I'm good. But it's it's based on false pretenses. It's a false sense of security. And I think that you've been avoiding disaster. You have been, but I feel like there's going to be a fight or an art altercation, or a flip out that, uh, I don't know if the law gets involved, or what. Anyway, what is this Ace of Pentacles right here? That is an opportunity for stability and security. That's a gift. Something long term. Oh, God. Ten of Pentacles reversed. Oh, that ain't good. Ten of Pentacles reversed is uh, losing it all. Okay, it is living beyond your means, it's false impressions, it's uh, illegal dealings, um, unstable, we have an unstable business or an unstable family life, 
Somebody could be changing their residence. They may be moving. They may be moving to someplace better. Someplace that is more stable, more solid, more secure. But I think it's going to be hard to do. I think it's going to be hard because it's going to be, it's like, I don't want to. You're not going to make me, you know, and it's like you're being made to. It's almost like you're being forced to. That's what I feel. Um, oh, Queen of Cups reverse. The Queen of, this is very emotional time. This, there's some sort of heartbreak here as well. The Queen of Cups. This is deep sadness, disappointment, self-loathing. Okay? You may be dealing with an individual that... Uh, I don't know. Maybe they're stealing from you. That Seven of Swords reverse. I'm not sure. Somebody's going to get caught doing something. They're going to get caught and somehow... It feels like you're going to go down with them. Or you're going down and they're going... It's like you're going... I think you're going down with another person. Two people may be going down. I don't know what that means. I don't. Because we got two... I just noticed these two people going down. You know, which is interesting. So I'm not sure what is going on. There's some sort of addictions here. There's got, There could be a fight. Um, the Queen of Cups. There's, I, I don't know if we're dealing with alcohol. We have... We have alcohol, alcohol, alcohol here and drinking here. So I'm not sure if we have somebody here that drinks too much and things get out of hand. Uh, this is a family, could be a family quarrel, a family fight. You may get yourself involved with a family fight. Um, and maybe this person takes an opportunity to uh, get you in trouble. You know, I, I just got to be honest with you. You need to... Uh, be careful. I think that you you uh, you definitely need to be careful. I feel like there's reckless behavior here. Okay, with the fool, we get the fool reverse. This is recklessness. This is impulsive. This is somebody who is again ignores advice that is heading for a fall. Okay, somebody who's making a poor judgment call, and I feel like they're gonna fall. They're gonna they're gonna fall. They're gonna fall. Um, I think that you do need to be careful. I do. I think that you need to be careful because I think you've got somebody here that is... It's almost like this person is vindictive towards you. They're vindictive or they're jealous or they're envious and they want to compete with you all the time. You've got somebody that likes to compete with you. And it's like they're not on your side. This is like an enemy, but they're, you know, it's kind of like when they say it's your enemy disguised as a friend. It's that kind of thing. This person is not your friend, whoever they are. They're toxic. It's an unhealthy, toxic relationship that you have probably, you're tied to it somehow. You're choosing, you can, you can choose to get out of it whenever you want. Anybody can, but they all make excuses. Everybody makes excuses as to why they can't, you know. But I think that you are probably going to be involved in some sort of a fight. It looks like a fight. That you know, it's almost like somebody. There's it's a fight where somebody gets in the car after they've done some sort of, I don't know, drinking or drugging or something like. Or they're mad. They're mad. They're upset. They're angry, and things get out of control. So I think you may not be looking where you're going, or somebody else may not be looking where you're going. You may be blamed. Because then we get the five of swords. Five. Of, this is blame. Wanting to win at all costs. Somebody that doesn't want to take responsibility and wants to blame you. Now the five of swords is definitely a battle. You could be dealing with a bully. I think that you are involved in a hostile. You will be involved in a hostile situation where, you know, you're going to be fighting with somebody, unfortunately. And I don't know if it's a water sign. Could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. We have Capricorn, um, Scorpio, and Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. That's what I see. Um, and you. And you. And I think that there, it's like you may feel like everybody is up against you. It's like everybody is pointing the finger at you and blaming you. Because I feel like this is your energy. It's like... <laughs> You know, I think this is overwhelming for you. You may be feeling overwhelmed with all these people blaming everything on you. So, I, and, you, and they're self-medicating here. So, I think that you need to really try to curb that. You know, maybe you just try not to self-medicate. Um, anyhow, you are going to probably be hurt 
by this, whatever it is, it's going to hurt your feelings. Your feelings are really going to be hurt. But in the end, you are going to receive a new opportunity. This is a golden opportunity for you to go down a new path, to go through a new doorway. This is the opportunity for you to move out of this situation that you have been in. But it's going to take strength. And I feel like you've been lacking the strength. I do. Um, I think that you're going to receive some sort of clarity about whoever it is that you're dealing with. Um, high priest reverse that's lack of, of faith um, being controlled by a father figure or a position or a person in a position of authority that is very controlling abusive and it doesn't have to be a father figure this is somebody that is abusive per se but and this is not following your gut as well we have trust your intuition you really and this is not following your intuition I think a lot of you have been ignoring your intuition and you better start following it. You really need to, you need to protect yourself from whoever this person is. You are dealing with somebody who does not have your back, put it that way. They will, it's almost like they throw you under the bus, okay? Blame everything on you. Um, the high, and I don't know if it's a father figure or somebody that you look up to. It doesn't have to be a father per se, but it's, it could be a mother. It's somebody that you look up to in some way. Or it could be a family member because this is family situation. I'm not sure who it is. But this is a relationship that is no longer on the same page. Same page. And whoever you are dealing with is having a hard time. They're having a hard time doing the right thing. They are. You're, you know? And I think that... Uh, They aren't very spiritual and they have some sort of vendetta or something like that. Or they just don't want to, you know, get caught, you know. So it's better if they just point the finger at you. You are dealing with somebody who wants to win at all costs. And if you go down, whatever. Just saying. I feel as though uh, you really need to listen to your gut. I think that you've been ignoring your gut. One more card. Thinking about leaving. Thinking about walking away. What are you thinking for? It's time to go. Stop wasting your time. You're pretending to be happy. You're pretending, you're staying put, avoiding, refusing to move on. There's emotional weakness here. Find your strength. Find your strength to leave this disappointing situation behind. Turn your back on it. Don't ever look back. Leave and never go back. I think that you've been thinking, you've been thinking about leaving, you've been thinking about, thinking about how sad this situation is or how unhappy it is, and, and but you're staying there. We have a Queen of Swords here that is, is going to be making a call of some sort. She's going to be making a call. Somebody may have made a poor judgment call. Temperance reverse. There's definitely going overboard here. This is this is a high competition. This is a lot of hostilities. We have mood swings. We have emotionally unstable. We have clumsiness. We have lack of control. We have a lack of moderation. Overdoing it. Uh, I don't know if we still have somebody here. There's like addictions here. Something is off. Something doesn't feel right. Feel right. This is a need to re-examine. Somebody's going to be re-examining. They're going to be re-examining your situation. And it's because you're dealing with somebody that it feels like this person they they cause a fight with you and then they and then they tell on you and they just it's crazy. It's craziness. But everything happens for a reason. And this card is a card of reason. 
we have an illness here. We have an imbalance. It's not healthy. This is extremely inappropriate behavior and reversed. This is somebody that is engaging in negative patterns and it happens to be your card. And you don't have to accept it. But if you are engaging and you are pretending that everything is okay when it's not, eventually you're going to fall and you're going to have a tower moment. And somebody's going to be there and they're going to see it. That's what I see happening. This is somebody that is going overboard. So what? One more card. One more card. You are headed towards a golden opportunity. You are, but it's after you fall, unfortunately. And it's because we. And, and I don't need another card. It's after you fall. It's after you fall because it's. Ref, I refuse to listen. I don't need any advice. I'm never gonna get caught doing whatever I'm doing. And if you don't do anything wrong, then this reading isn't for you. But then we have so many people in denial that think they don't. And that's what gets them in trouble. Good luck.